Welcome back to my channel. 2025 Mazda CX-70 Mazda is expanding its SUV lineup to include a new two-row midsize model called the CX-70. It rides on a new platform and is expected to be more luxurious than the brand's smaller CX-5 and CX-50 SUVs. A plug-in hybrid drivetrain is likely to be available, along with an inline-six engine with a 48-volt hybrid system similar to the powertrains found in the larger CX-90, not to mention many BMW and Mercedes models. While Mazda hasn't yet revealed the CX-70, we expect it to look similar to the Europe market CX-60, pictured, but feature wider body. Its interior will offer more space than the CX-5s and will likely be dressed in premium materials. The CX-70 is an all-new SUV that slots in between the compact CX-50 and the 3-row CX-9. Mazda is in the process of upgrading its range of crossovers which started with the 3-row 2024 CX-90 which hit US in 2023. The CX-70 is expected to debut and hit the market in 2024 as a 2025 model. The price of the 2025 Mazda CX-70 is expected to start around $38,000 and go up to $48,000 depending on the trim and options. Pricing for the CX-70 hasn't been announced but we expect it to offer a similar range of trim levels as other Mazda models. All-wheel drive will be standard across the board, but we don't know exactly which powertrain configurations will be standard and optional. Look for the plug-in hybrid setup to cost a bit extra. We think the CX-70 will offer a choice of either an inline-six gasoline engine with a 48-volt hybrid system or a plug-in hybrid drivetrain with a 2.5-liter inline-four. The inline-six will likely be the same 340-horsepower, turbocharged 3.3-liter engine found in the CX-90, where it puts its power through a 48-volt hybrid system and an 8-speed automatic transmission. The plug-in hybrid model is expected to share its powertrain with the CX-60, which offers a combined output of 323 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque and claims an electric driving range of 39 miles. Underneath the CX-70 is Mazda's new platform featuring a longitudinal engine layout which in theory could enable both rear and all-wheel drive via though all CX-70S will come standard with the latter. This layout aims to provide handling, performance, and refinement more akin to luxury SUVs from BMW and Mercedes when compared with mainstream SUVs, which utilize front-drive based transverse engine platforms. It also enables the designers to give the CX-70 the dash to front axle proportions of the expensive rear-drive luxury sedans and SUVs. The EPA has not yet released any fuel economy estimates for the CX-70, but we expect it to get similar ratings as the slightly larger CX-90. The three-row model is rated for 23 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway with a 3.3-liter inline six and 24 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway with the plug-in hybrid powertrain. For more information about the CX-70's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. The CX-70 will be a two-row model with space for five passengers. To go along with its more upscale band, the CX-70 will have a nicer cabin than many similarly priced rivals. If the CX-60 and CX-93's interiors are any indication, it will offer fancy materials such as woven textiles, nap leather, and wood trim that make for an attractive dashboard design. We think the CX-70 will have an infotainment screen as large as 12.3 inches, similar to the screen that's equipped on the CX-60 global model. It will be controlled by a rotary knob on the center console. 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity features should be standard equipment. Thanks for watching video.